Hello everyone and welcome to our course Primavera P6 version 18 overview course practical tutorials and today is gonna be lecture number seven progress update and this is the last lecture in this uh, course before starting our next levels okay in this course you're gonna learn important topics how you collect the informations how you do your updates and in a professional way so that you will do a correct update to your schedules okay you have to understand updating project schedules okay you have to set up a system and this is system okay how you will collect the informations who is uh, responsible for that how you, uh, you get all this uh, kind of template what information you need you need only the dates you need the units you need the man hours who is gonna give you this information so this system you have to build it so that it's gonna be easy when you collect the information from the guys on site because this is the most struggling uh, part how you get the informations in the right format that will help you updating your so as we said you have to identify the type of information to collect depend on whether activities or individual or resource assignment or uh, any other informations uh, what method uh, will be used to collect the informations okay are you gonna use the timesheets and you're gonna tie it to your uh, p6 do you have any accounting systems that you're gonna go and assign each resource to accounting systems and and how often you're gonna do the project update is it weekly is it bi-weekly is it monthly based on the importance of your project some uh, 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 oil and gas companies are doing their update every hour especially in the turnaround project which is very critical and you need to have all the part on time valves or whatever you have on site any delay is gonna affect the process and you're gonna have a big loss of money methods of updating are you gonna update progress for all activity and resources as a whole or you're gonna update the activity and the resources individually or you're gonna update progress from timesheet or you're gonna use a combination of all the above method you have to decide which one uh, based on the importance of your project with the agreement with your project manager so updating the schedule should be uh, 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 established as a standard update procedure to include the methods they're gonna use who gonna help you doing the update what kind of format you're gonna ask the guys on site what percent to complete type you're gonna have uh, are you gonna actualize the resources the cost actual dates finish dates uh, how often you're gonna record the progress uh, are you gonna apply actuals if your project is going as per plan or uh, what kind of layout you're gonna use any adjustment to, to your project so any level of resources you're gonna uh, make so this kind of information that i mentioned on the screen are very important and you have to agree upon with your project manager with your team and you decide which method you're gonna use you have to agree also in the percent complete types and you know in primavera you have physical which you're gonna measure the actual progress on site and you're gonna do it manually and you have unit percentage which tied to the resources and you have duration percentage if you're gonna measure your progress based on the durations and i will show you that on the live software right now the steps to update your schedule you're gonna do the actual dates if, and you're gonna do the remaining durations because many people on market they don't update the remaining duration remaining duration is very important to update your schedule you have to check also the logic if there's a logic change after that you can go and do f9 or schedule your schedule to get you the earlier date the cpm and the date okay and you have to move the data date to the correct uh, uh, current date that you have and you can print your report to be ready for your project manager site team to review it let us now go to the uh, live uh, software and the project modeling i will go to now the activity uh, excavations and then you will get to the status tab this is very very important and this is the one that you're gonna use it to update your schedule in a regular update i will choose this activity because it's not yet started and you can see the start date is september 27 
and the end date is October 31st I will go and make actual start and I will make it the, by the way the actual uh, start I will make it by the way end of August and the finish date here I will go by the way for the remaining durations and I will change the remaining duration based on what based on the remaining work and the remaining resources and I will make by the way this 30 okay and I will make F9 and you can see right now that this activity started here okay and still have this uh, green bar it's not completed his excavation but it shows right now it started and you can see right now the difference between the dates in the biz line which shows September 27 but the actual date here shows August 27 and I would like to go and add another two columns uh, this one here called biz line project finish date to measure the delays against the finish date and this one biz line project start date let me add these two columns here I will, I will make apply so that you can see on the screen right now this activity have a variance in the start date so this is this is the finish date let me move the start here you can move the column like Excel you can just highlight them and move by your cursor so this activity has a variance in the start date 20 days and they have a variance in the finish date minus six days let me go to the backfill activity uh, uh, here it's already started and I need to uh, actualize the finish so I'm gonna actualize the finish it should right now finish date is 17 February 2018 I would like to make it by the way uh, I would like to make it maybe January or whatever something like that and I will run F9 I know I didn't change the data date but I can go and change the data date right now because I have added here uh, this activity finish date in September and in, in, sorry in February uh, uh, 6 so I can go and it changed the data date to February 6 and then we'll run the schedule again so that you can show uh, in the Gantt chart and show all the actual dates in yellow and all the remaining dates here it's gonna be if it is red it's mean critical if it is green that's mean remaining and you can measure the variances uh, against your baseline I hope you like this lectures and you know how to assign a biz line, how to maintain a biz line, how to add the columns to measure the variances between the biz lines and the current schedule in start and finish, how to show the biz line in the Gantt chart, how to actualize the, the, the schedules and adding the dates. Uh, uh, and uh, thanks so much for watching and I hope you like this course and enjoy it and next to you in the next course advanced level in Primavera and earned value. Thank you. Bye bye. And this is Alex Alhindawi, California, United States Project Control Manager.